As a blizzard raged outside her study, Dr. Vivian Atwood stared at the ancient manuscript spread on her desk. It was a map leading to the heart of the endless winter, a forest locked in perpetual frost by a long-forgotten curse. As an archaeologist, the ice-bound mausoleum, reputed to be at the center of this tundra, was an obsession she could not ignore. Her mentor had always warned her, some locks are not meant to be picked, Vivian. But the thrill of the unknown was an elixir Vivian couldn't resist. Bundling herself in layers, Vivian embarked on her journey. The endless winter was as breathtaking as it was chilling, frost-covered trees standing like sentinels of forgotten time. It was days before she reached the mausoleum. The grand, icy structure reflected the cold sun, casting an ethereal light. The stories were true. It was a crypt of kings and queens locked in eternal frost. Upon entering the mausoleum, she discovered intricate ice sculptures of the past rulers, their faces contorted in eternal cries. She reached out and touched one. A mistake. A spectral wail echoed, shaking the mausoleum. Vivian's heart pounded. She had awakened the curse. Ghostly figures rose, wailing around her. In the spectral glow, the ice beneath her shimmered, revealing etched riddles. The first read, Frozen in time, silenced by the cold, we rise when touched. What are we? Gathering her courage, she answered aloud, The spirits of the forgotten kings and queens. The wailing subsided momentarily, a clear sign she was on the right path. For each spectral figure, she solved a riddle. As she navigated the crypt, she battled the restless spirits, each encounter more grueling than the last. Vivian started doubting herself. The guilt of awakening the curse and the fear of being trapped in the mausoleum started gnawing at her. When she arrived at the crypt's heart, the final spectral figure, a child queen, emerged. Once bountiful, now barren, frozen in our dread. What must be restored? it asked. Vivian hesitated, struggling with her fear. But then, remembering the forest's sad, frozen state, she shouted, The spring! The spring must be restored! The child queen nodded, vanishing in a swirl of icy wind. The mausoleum rumbled, the icy sculptures melting. The wails of the spectral kings and queens turned into sighs of relief, their spirits finally freed. Exhausted, Vivian emerged from the mausoleum. The endless winter, for the first time in centuries, was showing signs of spring. Vivian smiled, filled with relief. The thrill of the discovery, the terror of the curse, the satisfaction of freeing the spirits and restoring the spring. It was worth every moment. From then on, the endless winter was remembered as the forest of the first spring. And Dr. Vivian Atwood, once an adventurer, became a legend, a queen who ended a winter. Her tale served as a reminder that not all locks should be picked, but some must be, for the hope of spring lies behind them.